Hello, Internet. I am Gina, otherwise known as Ginger Dash, and this is my very first moto vlog. I thought I would introduce myself to you guys and tell you a little bit about myself and also answer the burning question, not so much. What in the world were you thinking buying a motorcycle at 50? Especially with absolutely no riding experience. So by now you already know that I own a sport bike and all the experiences that I've ever had in the past as a passenger, which is the only experience I had had on motorcycles until I bought mine, they were all sport bikes and man, I loved riding. I loved riding around on the back. The only thing I didn't love for a couple of very specific reasons is the fact that I had zero control over the bike. So after almost 20 years, I took my first ride on a motorcycle as a passenger in January or early February of 2020. And oh my gosh, did that reignite <laughs> my excitement about motorcycles. So after I got home that night from riding around with my friend, I said out loud, so if talking out loud to yourself is a sign of insanity, eh, been there, done that, didn't even get a participation trophy. Anyway, I said, why can't I have a motorcycle? What's stopping me? And those were legitimate questions. I will warn you now that I tend to ramble. I don't mean to. It's just if you look at most videos here on YouTube, moto vlogs, they're usually somewhere around 10 or 12 minutes long. And I watch a lot of moto vloggers, especially females. Not that I have anything against men, but I just love supporting women who are putting themselves out there. And now having started this process myself, Man, it is a lot more challenging. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, look at the boot cows. Oh, and horsies. This is horse country where I live. So at some point we will zoom by some thoroughbred farms and other farms. Today you got to see some cows and a couple of horses. Lucky you. So as I was saying, I'm an introvert. But if I'm comfortable and you get me talking, I will talk your ear off. Something I try to squash, <laughs> try to keep to a minimum because, you know, there's nothing worse than getting caught in a conversation with someone and you just can't get them to shut up. It's true. Don't lie and say that's never happened to you because you know it has. I mean, I experienced that with people myself, but I don't want to be one of those people. So the reason I mention that as it pertains to meta blogging, is that this is hard. 10 minutes really is not all that long when it comes down to it. So I guess maybe I need to try and hit the high points here and see how that works. With my 50th birthday coming, I decided I was gonna treat myself and through a series of events, I came to decide that I wanted to own a motorcycle. And yes, it was something I had considered before, but not seriously. But at this point in my life, I only have responsibility for myself. No one else. My son has grown, he's got his own career, and he lives overseas. He's currently serving in the military. The only person I'm responsible for right now in my life is me, which meant I could make the decision to buy a motorcycle, even though I had no riding experience. And when I say none, I mean zero, zip, none. The only thing I had ever done was ridden on the back as a passenger. I'm gonna say in my entire life, probably less than 20 times. So when I bought my motorcycle, I couldn't even drive it home because I didn't have an endorsement. I hadn't taken the motorcycle safety class and I didn't know how to ride, but I did buy a bike. 
And I will tell you now, it's been one of the best decisions I have ever made as an adult. The timing was a little strange as far as when I purchased it. I bought my bike a month before the pandemic really kicked into high gear or before it became obvious that we needed to social distance. If I had waited, I would have never bought the bike, which means I wouldn't have had this bike and this experience at a time where activities outside home pretty much disappeared. So that's just a very brief introduction to how I got started riding. I didn't check my cards very well and so at bare minimum that GoPro is full. <laughs> I'm usually a much better planner than this. Man, look at those skies. These are my favorite skies. So I'm gonna continue this in the hopes that this GoPro is still recording. And since we're in that getting to know you phase, here are a few things about me. I currently live in Central Florida. I've been here for 25 years. I was born and raised in Western Maryland and that's where I spent the first 25 years of my life. So as of this year, I can say that I have spent half my life in Maryland and the other half in Florida. How many kids do I have? Just the one. There's a bug in my helmet. Here are some of those horse farms I mentioned. So right now I'm riding around in the area that is south of where I live, southwest I suppose. A lot of really pretty scenic little roads and pretty much the only place you're going to find any sort of curve. <laughs> we definitely don't have twisties, there's no twisties in this area, not to mention Florida for the most part is just flat. Right now I have absolutely no idea where I am. <laughs> and it's a road I've never been on before. And it's a brand new road, which man, I am so not gonna complain about that. But back to things you might wanna know about me. I have worked administrative type jobs for most of my adult life. <clears throat> I did spend 10 years in the restaurant industry, but again, that was on a management level for 90 plus percent of that time. Uh, the best job I've ever had was the two years I spent as a, oh, so pretty. Uh, the best job I've ever had is the two years I spent as a radio morning drive DJ. So here's the thing, I loved being on the radio. It was so much fun. I had a partner. It was two of us every morning from six to 10 a.m. And it consisted of him setting himself up to be the butt of the joke and me swooping in with snarky commentary to put him in his place. And man, it was the most fun I have ever had at a job. What else can I tell you about me? I've been doing theater since I was young, but again, the beauty of theater is that I got to stand on stage in front of, I didn't care how many people, and be someone else. I didn't have to be me. So here's the question I had to ask myself, that I did ask myself, and what finally made, helped me decide to buy the motorcycle. If not now, when? Do you want a motorcycle? Yes. Can you afford a motorcycle? Yes, as long as it's really inexpensive. <laughs> Do you feel confident you can learn how to ride? Yes, I never doubted for a second that I would be able to learn to ride. So if you're feeling sorry for me, please like this video. <laughs> because I know that it was not a great first video but if you would be so kind as to like and possibly subscribe and come back for when my uh, my gear has been 
properly vetted before I get on the bike. I promise the next video will be better. I promise. So I'm gonna wrap this up here and hope that you will come back and visit me again when I post another video where I have two camera angles for the entire video. Yay.